Indians of Reddit, we have 24 hours to save net neutrality in India. Edit, an hour and a half left. The government has called for comments or suggestions on recommendations of Committee on Net Neutrality on mygov.in. However, this is open only till 15 August, which is Independence Day in India. This date time seems calculated to minimize the responses they'll receive in favor of net neutrality. AIB's latest video explains the latest development, please turn on closed captions. Some portions of the video are in Hindi. More from the Save at the Internet team. Alternatively you can go directly to MyGov and post your comments there. It takes 5 minutes. You can use any of the following templates as your comment. Please mix and match and add your own comments if you want and it's not necessary to copy-paste. First template. Net neutrality means access to everything without discrimination don't allow telecom operators to change the definition of net neutrality. Net neutrality means access to everything on the internet, without discrimination. Not access to everyone. We want everyone to get access, but to all of the internet. Don't allow creation of private walled gardens. Second template thanks, you Saptarsi, for this one, no licensing of apps. No zero rating. No throttling slowing down of website services. Equal access to all sites, apps. This is a must for Digital India. Third template thanks, you Julian Coria, for this one, I want net neutrality because I want to communicate with any human machine, anytime without having to ask anyone's permission, net neutrality has huge implications on freedom of assembly and baking bias into policy will compromise national security in times of peril because monolithic data aggregation will result in pinpoint targets for attack to distribute our population's digital assets as a wise and prudent bet for the government and licenses hence make no sense for whatever reason. Fourth templates, thanks, you Atnixon, for these other templates, government must act now. The DOT report noted that a free and open internet, available to all Indian citizens, is key to our country's future. Despite that, telcos are already violating net neutrality and endangering that future. The GOVT should pass regulation immediately to protect net neutrality in India the status quo of mere promises is not enough. The GOVT must commit to protecting net neutrality in law in India. Don't take five years to decide this. Fifth template. Don't allow zero rating. Zero rating allows large companies to act as gatekeepers of the internet, and control which services Indians can access, must be prohibited. The DOT draft recommendations are too weak on this, and the GOVT must take a strong stand to protect users. Sixth template. Don't allow zero rating, not even on a case-by-case -case basis. Zero rating will encroach upon the bandwidth meant for the open internet, decreasing its speed and increasing its price. The GOVT should ensure that licensed spectrum is exclusively used to give open internet access to consumers, and not to sell consumers to big internet companies. There should be a complete ban on zero rating, not case-by-case -case approval. Seventh template. Don't allow zero rating. Zero rating will enable well-funded internet companies to purchase captive user bases, killing off smaller competitors and then increasing prices to recover the cost. It will decrease choice and harm consumers not only on the zero rating plans but also on the open internet. The GOVT should prohibit zero rating completely instead of giving approval on a case-by-case -case basis. More templates. But I'm not Indian, so why should I care? Even if you're not Indian, this could affect you. If ISPs around the world see this as a valid tactic for squeezing more money out of their customers, they'll follow suit. This must be stopped before it takes root. This post is copied from U Agent Bigman's post in R India. All credit for writing it out goes to him, link to post, except a couple of lines I've added. Response 1. Upvoted for visibility. I sincerely hope that the government takes notice. Thanks. Response 2. What can someone living in another country do to help? Anything that happens in India to restrict the internet will only make it easier for the telecoms and other interested parties to restrict the internet in our home countries, so obviously we'd like to help you. Unfortunately, there isn't much anyone else can do. I made this post here to get more exposure so other Indians could see this, since not all might be subscribed to our India. Best of luck friend. Keep fighting. We're all counting on each other. Response 3. I thought I procrastinated about big issues. Response 4. Upvoted for visibility. However the site seems to be having some problems as it is not accepting my comment. As of the 14th of August 6.44pm IST edit, my comment went through. 
At this time comments are being posted at the rate of approximately 1 per second. Response 5. WTF can't log in tried for 20 minutes giving 503 error. Dunno if it's a conspiracy or a part of the plan. Quote, 503. Too many connections, aka hug of death. They should prioritize this website. Response 6. Asked a friend to TLDR for me, he went, the 15th of August ko janta pataka forgi, ayasakar internet ko forgi. Had to share. Response 7. Snack. Response 8. Good luck my Indian friends. Response 9. Is there an Indian John Oliver? There is a satirical program called, The Week That Wasn't, but it can never get as popular as its American equivalent, because Indians speak multiple languages, so one program can never reach all of them. Response 10. I can't even register. When I create a new account, instead of a verification mail, I get a OTP code, but there is nowhere to put that in the site. When I try to put that in login quote, opt mail ph, I get that the user doesn't exist.